bro i'm starting to dislike mma i know we just had a banger card that co-main event was fight of the year this whole card was good lots of finishes but the way how this game plays with our heartstrings maybe maybe just mine okay maybe at least just mine is vicious it's cruel because we just watched dominic cruz come back into his prime self this is like the best moment when you see a legend in any sports any and they're coming off injuries or coming off a long layoff or coming off of old age and for dominic cruz that was all of the above maybe except for the layoff but still prior to like this is his most recent run okay and he only had like two fights the way how they just come back show themselves like that they can compete with the top fighters and beat them like, he was beating cheeto vera but then just get slumped in the most vicious way possible. Like when I think about this, I think about Tony Ferguson getting absolutely flatlined after he was doing so good. Showing that he could still hang in there. Like, dude, this game is plain. Very unfortunate. But a very calculated head kick KO for Vera. You know, the kick has way more range than your hands, like, than punches in general. So, especially with that style of Dominic Cruz, when you try to chase him, he always dips out the way, leans away. And if you have him against the cage and he has to go lateral, he can't move backwards, the kick is right there. So, man, very, very calculated kick from Marlon Vera. But just leading up to those shots or that fight ending moment, um, Cruz was looking really good. Um, the movement, the aggressiveness was still there. Um, the takedowns, I wish I would have saw more, but Vera was like just sprawling on all of his attempts. But I think Dominic Cruz could have set him up a little bit better. But still, he was at least he was throwing everything, you know, doing the Dominic Cruz thing, mixing up everything. And that's when he had a lot of success. Like, he would catch Marlon Vera so many times because Marlon Vera had to respect the takedown. Like, holy shit. I was not expecting, or I was expecting this kind of thing, but still, I did not, I can't believe I still saw, like, Dominic Cruz still giving it to a freaking top five UFC bantamweight who was in his prime next gen. It's crazy, man. And it's crazy that Dominic Cruz was winning that fight, too. Even though he got knocked down in the first round and in the second round, I'm in mean the third round. For that first round, it was a flash knockdown, you know, it was a lot of big damage, but dude, Cruz was landing a lot of big damage back, or not big damage, but accumulative damage where you have, if you added up all his damage, his total damage would have been more than um, Vero's in the first round. Vero did not land anything in the first round, but um, yeah, Vero has that style. It kind of re reminds me of Piotr Yan, but I think Yan is more, he just has the better reads, throws his punches and combinations, better output, better just everything. He's just way better than uh, Marlon Vera. But Marlon Vera does have the key components of Piotr Yan. Piotr Yan, and like to be honest, kind of relies a lot on his durability and like his youth. And yeah, like you see how many shots he's been taking like earlier in his career. Like I know Aljamain Sterling in that first fight, oh my God, he looked like a god. And he pieced up Corey Sanhagen. But still, Corey Sanhagen was still piecing him up. Al Jermaine, in that second in the even in the first fight was piecing him up and then you look back at all his um older fights he's getting pieced up same like Marlon Vera he's getting pieced up so they have that key component where they they can eat shots they can eat shots they have that good high guard um they kind of plod towards you with that uh, Muay Thai stance but man um Cruz his leg kicks were working on, on freaking Marlon Vera like it was working real good. He was landing big leg kick, calf kicks on Marlon Vera. And even Marlon Vera, uh, post-fight, he even said himself that it was really hard to kick Cruz's legs. And that shows you how good Henry Cejudo is. <laughs> I know that came out of left field, but like I was thinking about it. I was like, wow, Marlon Vera can't really land leg kicks. Same for Pedro Munoz. And Henry Cejudo was the only one who was able to do it. But to be fair, Dominic Cruz was coming off a long layoff. But still, man, he's... Dom, uh, Henry Cejudo did get a fresher, less damaged cruise. 